Now for a story you'll only see right here on 12 News as we honor troops who sacrifice for our country. One of them is Staff Sergeant Alexander Conrad from Chandler. The 26 year old soldier died from an attack in Somalia last June, but before his remains were brought back home, he was given one final honor, a tribute all fallen heroes receive. Team 12's Antonia Mejia traveled to Dover Air Force Base in Delaware for a rare look at how the military handles a soldier's final goodbye. It's very important that we get this correct. Sometimes it takes several times for you to do this. The goal here is tailoring a perfect uniform. My main thing is to make sure that no matter how long it takes, that I stand here and I place everything in the right place so that the uniform looks good for our fallen. Then it gives me the it's an order Army service member Angela Bartholomew follows with heart. It's my way of giving back to the family members. They saw for the family members who received. grieve because it's the last uniform their loved one will have. Public eyes don't get to see the intricate work in this room. It's where military attire is kept for all remains that arrive. Preparing each and every uniform is always different depending on who the service member is. But once it's ready, it's taken through these double doors where the fallen hero is dressed. This is the most honorable job that I have ever worked in my life. Senior Airman John Juarez handles the task of dressing the fallen behind these doors. I would say every time I dress a fallen, I always wonder what that, what that soldier, Marine, sailor, or airman went through. I always wonder what their family went through hearing it. He's been part of the work in preparing the remains of the 16 troops brought to the secret mortuary so far this year. At the entrance, only a few Americans get to see this memorial while in person. On it are service operations from U.S. history. And next to every mission is the amount of military members killed, more than 30,000 on this wall including Cardinals football player Pat Tillman, killed by friendly fire back in 2004. Got a new Navy case that's passed away overseas. Um, the remains will be coming to Dover. Chief Petty Officer Stephen Marsh is expecting the arrival of a member of the Navy. The family is, is oftentimes still in shock that it's, uh, the, the grief is raw, you know, they're, they're hurting. And so part of our role is, is, is we're there to walk them through that. Senior Airman Juarez gets a flag ready. We'll make sure that, that that hero has a perfect laid flag on there to the transfer case. Our heroes should be given the respect every single day to be remembered. Antonia Mejia, 12 News. Antonia, thanks so much. Once the fallen service member is dressed, he or she leaves Dover Air Force Base for their final resting place.